Welcome to our Mad Inc product guide, a series of educational videos designed to explore correct washing and maintenance techniques, the products we have available in our store and how to use them, as well as the theories behind certain processes and techniques and why they are important. Today, with tips from Nick, we are going to be exploring how you can correctly wash and maintain your car that you've just had ceramic coated or PPF'd. Before you start the wash process, it's important to set up the right environment. Never wash your car while any part of it is hot, either from use or from sitting in the sun. If you don't have access to a covered or shaded area, wash your car first thing in the morning or last thing in the evening, and never in direct sunlight. All of the microfiber washing implements and Gion products we are using today are available from our Mad Ink product store. Hey guys, so you just had your car protected here at Mad Inc. Uh, we're going to show you the washing process uh, in order for you to maintain your vehicle, uh, whether it's been wrapped with PPF film or it's had a ceramic coating. Uh, this video will show you uh, from start to finish how to wash it at home. Alright, so first stage is going to be Geon Foam. Um, great product, this is going to loosen the dirt. Uh, before you actually contact wash the car. Um, depending on if your car is wrapped in film or coated, a film's a little bit more forgiving um, when you scratch it, obviously it's gonna self heal, but with coatings, this is uh, a necessity to do. You'll see um, when we run through these stages why it's important um, and how well this product works. I like the foam to be quite thick, so um, if you want more foam, you obviously need to fill up the uh, foam lamps with um, more product, less, and then more water will obviously dilute the, uh, the uh, foam. Alright, so we've got a cartridge pressure washer, uh, it's got the foam in the canister there, so we're going to go ahead, uh, pre-soak the car. Um, obviously, I'm lucky because we've got um, a, a detailing bay that's got a roof on it, so I can pressure wash the whole car and then come around and do do the wheels, um, but if you're outside, we would probably recommend doing the wheels separately and then going around and um, finishing off the rest of the car. Apply the foam generously and allow it to sit for several minutes while it works itself through the dirt and begins to lift it from the body of the car. All right, so onto the wheels. As you can see, we've got a special wheel bucket here. Uh, we've got three brushes. Um, these are great to, to get into the back of the barrels and behind the calipers. Uh, we've got another brush to use on our wheel spokes and uh, wheel nuts. And then we use this one for our, our wheel arches and tires. As you can see, the foam is still sort of dwelling. Um, and these are the areas here that has stuck to the dirt. So this is obviously not dirty. And then as you work your way around, you see all the areas that are filthy. So that's the idea of the foam. It's sticking to the dirt. And then you'll see as I wash, wash the foam off, it's almost like peeling, peeling the dirt off. You can see where the foam is sticking to the dirt. When rinsing, use the force of the water like a broom to push the dirt-filled foam towards the edges of the panels and off the car. Now we're on to the two bucket wash. So this will be a contact wash with the wash mitt. Uh, we recommend two buckets. So uh, you've got a rinse bucket and a wash bucket. 
Uh, the rinse bucket has a grit guard in it, so um, this is designed to capture all the dirt at the bottom of the bucket, so you're not um, putting your, your wash mitt in, scooping up dirt from the bottom, and then putting it back on, on the clean car. So um, this one will be fresh water, and then this one will have the bathe pH neutral soap in it. Um, we put about, uh, depending again, how soapy you want it, um, three to five pumps for a 15 litre bucket should be sufficient. All right, so wash bucket's filled up with a pH neutral soap, and then our rinse bucket just has fresh water. Um, you always want to make sure that you're washing the car from the top to the bottom, um, and just nice, long, even strokes. The reason that we wash top to bottom is normally the car's gonna be the dirtiest on the bottom, so um, we don't wanna take dirt from the bottom to the top and risk scratching the paint. Um, once we've finished washing the car, uh, we'll rinse out the wash mitt, and then we'll go back into the soap, and then we'll continue our way down. Just nice, even strokes. Don't need to rub it very hard. Depending on how dirty your car is, is also gonna depend on how often you're gonna need to wash this wash mitt out. So if it was super dirty, um, you're gonna have to do it a lot more. Back into the, the water and then back into the soap. And then again, we just continue to work our way down. Only work in one area or even a single panel at a time. Ensure to rinse each section before moving to another area, especially if you're working outside. This will help to prevent any product drying on the surface of the car and leaving spots. of the car is normally going to be one of the dirtiest parts because of the exhaust so again start at the top and then work your way down Alright, so um, we have a Gion silk drying tower, nice and large, very soft. Um, the idea of these is you literally chuck it over the, the paint, pull it like that. Now these towers, uh, you don't want to put them in the washing machine with fabric softener or um, detergent, like washing powder. Washing powder actually gets stuck in the weave and then if you go to dry your car, you run the risk of actually scratching it. So if you want to clean them, I recommend a bucket of warm water, hand wash them. Uh, Gion have a product called Towel Wash, which is awesome. Um, and then you can ensure that that, that towel's staying nice and clean. If you're washing the car correctly, then technically this shouldn't be getting very dirty. Um, so if you're finding that the towel is getting dirty, then they might have to look at changing something in your washing procedure. Car's been washed, dried. Um, Every six to eight weeks, Gion will recommend to maintain the warranty. Um, you need to use Cure, super easy product to use. Um, it's a hydrophobic, hydrophobic spray sealant. Um, I would recommend spraying it onto the clean microfiber and then just wiping it on like that. Turn it over, 
and then wipe it off. Again, this would be something you would want to be doing in a nice cool area because it is a very, very strong product and works really well. So you would want to make sure that the, the panel is nice and cool. Just like that, the car's looking new again. Uh, if you do have any questions on the washing process, uh, please give us a call or drop into the store um, and we can run you through uh, all the different stages again. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's not, not that hard when you've got the right products and follow the right processes. Um, the car, car looks good as near, so thanks. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in contact with us. You can give us a call or you're welcome to come in and visit and have a look at the products we have available and we can clarify any questions that you might have. For now though, thanks so much for watching. Visit our social media if you want to see more of what we're doing and we'll see you next time.